Welcome to this demo from the Nace Free How to Webinars. I'm Anna Melikian and I help coaches and consultants to get more clients online with ease and joy. Today I will demo how to use a clipboard manager. And if you are wondering what is a clipboard, a clipboard manager is really something that can save you loads of time every day. It's a great productivity tool. Um, and what it is, okay, in your day to day with the computer, uh, you will be copy a word, a phrase, an email, the web address. And what happens if you, if you are using the systems that come from default in your computer, usually you copy one thing, then you have to go where you want to paste and paste it straight away. Because if you copy something new, that overwrites the previous thing that you have copied. What a clip, one of the things that the clipboard manager allow us to do is to have several things copied and then we can select one of them and paste that one. And let me show you how this works. Imagine that I'm writing here something in a Word document. Let me just bring the Word document here. And I had something that I previously had written. I just go to my clipboard manager that appears here. And uh, I just choose not just the last thing that I uh, copy, but I can go to a history of the things that I copy and paste what I want to use. So, and it's there. So you can start to see how helpful this can be. In this demo, I'm going to speak on a tool that I use uh, as a Mac user, but there are tools like this for PC2. And the main three points that I want to cover is uh, how to have these multiple clipboards organized in one place, like this, like I have it here. And I also can bring them up from here. So there are different ways that the different softwares allow us to organize the multiple clipboards and to access to them. Also, I'm going to show you how to modify because sometimes we have the clipboards already here, but we want, they have a different format that we don't want to use. There is the possibility to um, um, paste them in a, with no format and even to change the format that they have. So that is really nice. So instead of being these big letters, if I go to my clipboard, I can change and put it in row text that allows me to have no formatation there. That can be a very helpful in some cases. And I'm also going to give a couple of words about creating uh, shortcuts to make this even more fast to use. So uh, let me start with uh, uh, a tip for if uh, you are using a PC or if you want to explore other possibilities out there on Clipboard Manager. I advise you always when you are looking for a new software that can help you or somebody speak you about a new software, you can Google about it. And I'm going to do just here for the demo. I'm going to open a new tab in my Firefox and I'm going to go and I'm going to look for something. In this case, it's going to be the clip. I'm looking for clipboard manager. That is the technical name that we can uh, uh, use for this. And uh, I could select from Mac, from Windows, so you can put the system that you are using. But let me tell you a very important tip for Google search of technical things. So I'm just waiting here for my computer. Okay, I'm going to say, let's start looking for it. And now I'm going to Google here and I have all these information here about what is a clip manager. So even the Wikipedia definition is a computer program that adds functionalities to an operating system clipboard. So you can get all the information here. And 
like I said, a tip here for Google. When you search any technical stuff in Google, the more relevant stuff is the more recent stuff. And if you click in search tools there, when I'm pressing here search tools, and this allows you to select the time frame that you want to see the results. So anytime can be results that have two years old. I advise for technical things you go past year or even more recent. So, but for this example, I'm going to just click that past year. And what I have here are uh, the results for this search phrase clip board manager that were produced in the last year so uh, and let me you see for the window users you have here the five top best free clipboard manager for windows and you can click there and find a nice summary of some of the options as a window user you have for doing what i'm going to show here and there are many, many programs out there. You really have to find one that is uh, meets your needs uh, for. So I'm going to copy this address to put below this video and I'm going to go and using the tool, I'm going to put here another article that I found for Mac applications that I found very helpful and I have it saved it here in my clipboard is here and I go directly to it. So even when we are searching on the web and we, uh, we are copy several web addresses, this can be very helpful. We, of course, we always can use the back button and the history button in our browser, but sometimes it's really easy if we copy something, we know exactly what we want and we use our clipboard manager for doing that too. So this is a nice, another link that is going to appear below this video. And this is when a comparison of clipboard manager for Max. And you can see here different, he does a great summary, what he's looking for, the different ones that he revised. And uh, in this list is the one that I use, that is the copy paste pro. And I also going to put that link, but my point is that there are many options in many price points out there. I can speak a lot about Copy Paste Pro because it's the one I use and I love and it's quite affordable. But you can look a little bit in an article like that, that revise several of them and follow your instinct in the one that you want to use. And some of them, they give free, uh, free version for a while that you can test it. So this one, uh, it's like they announced that it's like a time machine for your clipboard because it records all the story, allows you to have the multiple clips, edit the clips so that it's also to archive, uh, to have multiple views. There is really loads of things that we can do with this copy paste pro and in terms of pricing. Let me see if I can go here through the price. Um, will be hopefully here. So let me go to check the uh, the price for this one. The clipboard pro is here for Mac is thirty dollars. So it's quite affordable for all the time that save us. So um, that is the thing. Uh, this is my favorite because it's very easy to use. I even have create a shortcut. So let me go. I have it here. So in, in the top bar that I can access to it and all the clipboard history very easy. Or my favorite is just have this clipboard story here in this menu that I can very easy look for something and allows me if I when I select one there is that orange uh, line around it. So I know that is the one that I selected. I can edit this clip if I want. If I want to change something on the clip, it's very easy to edit too. Um, and uh, let me just go, because I don't want to 
edit it now I just want to show you the potentialities that this has you can paste it as a raw text text that means without format you can delete you can archive you can even mail it so you really have loads of options the ones that I use more often is paste it raw text that without formatting so will this allows if I'm working in a word document in a paste raw text the pasting is going to follow the format that I'm using in the word the document that is the ideal uh, and this is really the one that I use or paste it as it is or paste it as a raw text and from here we also can go to the preferences because some of these tools allow us to create shortcuts in the keyboard and the one that I really use for this one is a simple one that I select open the clip a browser using command in the Mac is the, the command key and then double V so usually for pasting something you use command V to paste this is the, the universal uh, shortcut in a Mac to paste something so it's command C to copy and command V to paste let me show you here in Word uh, if you are wanting to uh, to paste or copy something you go here to the edit and copy you copy it's nothing select so this is great but you can paste something by co command v there so it's very easy to do uh, if i want to copy i can use the going edit or just use the shortcut that is there that is command c so very easy to do um, and uh, so what I create was the shortcut let me go back here to the preferences uh, of the copy pro uh, that is command VV I have to click command instead of just me one V I click VV and I have this wheel appearing here where I select what I want to copy or paste on the document so it's very easy to use in the day to day so i hope that this helped you understand how a clipboard manager can save you time and how it's so helpful to organize multiple clipboards in one space uh, also uh, very most of them have this functionality that allows you to paste it as raw so remove any formatting so you can instead of what appeared there if I had done without any formatting just to show you what happens I just go here and go as raw text is going to use the format that is already there so this can save lots of time sometimes if you that um, and you can have shortcuts in your keyboard to make it even easier um, and if remember if you are using Google to look for the best tool for you uh, it's always a good idea to uh, zoom in or select in Google the a time frame for the search so you go there you have search tools you click on the search tools and instead of any time at least put the past year to have it a more recent things about technology where time is so important so if you enjoy this demo please come to my free calls live because after the demo you can bring your questions that i will try to help you to overcome any online technology and marketing challenge so you can get more information about these calls at free how to webinars free how to webinars .com. that will take you to this page where you can sign up to these calls thank you so much